So today we're back in the new update in Brick Bricks and we're going to be testing out some more of the crash physics and we're going to revisit a couple things that I did before like doing an awesome loop and jumping the city and stay tuned until the end because we do try out some of the water destruction too. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Oh my goodness, what? What? Really? Dingus Cat is here too or, or Maxwell? Um, okay, so yeah, we're back here in Brick Rigs, and, uh, I'm gonna be testing out some more stuff here in the update. And I think the first thing we should do is probably blow this thing up. So I have this awesome attack helicopter here that I think might get the job. Nope, Bob doesn't need to set there. Ah, there we go. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and fire this thing up real quick. And, uh, <laughs> I've got some weapons aboard, including, like, an auto cannon. And oh my goodness, it's almost unstable. All right, let's go uh, Let's go get the uh, cat in our crosshairs here. Okay, here we go. And oh my goodness, it, it like fires up. <laughs> oh, and it's fine. We probably should have just stayed on the ground here. Oh my goodness. Okay, Komodo's going to destroy everything but the cat here. Oh, I got an idea. Let's just do this on the ground. There we go. What the... Why is it invincible? You know what's funny is I don't have that creation set in God mode, and it's just being creepy. Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness, that took a long time. All right, Maxwell Cat has been eliminated. So a lot of people wanted to see me uh, mow down a building uh, with some weapons. So we're gonna start off there. I've got loops set up. We're gonna try to jump the city again, probably smash many vehicles into uh, the sides of buildings. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, do a little water test here in a bit too. So here we go, we have an XFS tower. Let's go ahead and open. Oh my goodness, it's so satisfying. Oh, I'm blowing through this thing and oh, oh it's a burst. Oh, no, here goes the uh, the chopper man The uh, the gun is really violent on this thing. Uh, it does shift it over. Uh oh, uh oh Okay, just aim back towards it. Oh, oh, okay. Komodo's got this Bob looks like he needs a new uh, pilot's license here. All right, here we go <laughs> The gun shifts it so much uh, geez, that is just ridiculous. All right, fire back in. And one more. Oh, and we're just going to crash down. Oh, hey, at least we destroyed the tower. We might need to have, like, a gun that just sets there. Uh, Komodo sucks at flying helicopters. Okay, so when I said I was pulling out a weapon, I, I mean I'm pulling out a big weapon. We haven't used this thing in ages. Uh, I don't even know if it still explodes. But we'll see a big collision uh, between an oversized missile and a tower. We should probably repair that thing real quick. So I think this is gonna work on. Turn it a little bit. Okay, so oh my goodness, it just slid. Okay, so it's definitely loose. Uh, all right, let's see if we can, oh, I did not mean to, oh, oh my missile fell off. Okay, we're good, we're good, everything's fine. All right, so we're aiming this bad boy up. Oh, this is gonna work. This is gonna be glorious looking. All right, we need to turn it slightly. All right, so we are ready to launch this gigantic missile into uh, this tower here just to see. Uh, this is for science. Uh, I don't even know if it's still going to blow up. All right, here we go. And oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. And oh, uh oh, oh, okay. The, the missile still works. I think the missile. Oh, my. Dude, we blew a hole right through it. Um, yeah, there's something more satisfying about this. What if we were to fire that missile across the map? Like, I feel like it didn't get enough momentum. Like, we want it moving super fast by the time it hits the tower. I think it has the potential to completely obliterate it. Okay, we are in position once again. Go ahead and raise it up. Uh, all right. And parking brake. Oh, geez. Uh, it almost flew off again. All right, so we're good. So we want to hold this bad boy wide open. And there it goes. Um... Oh no, I just killed Maxwell again. Uh, that did not fly quite like it used to. This is an old creation, so there is a chance uh, that things are just a little bit different here. I'm blowing everything up. Okay, we still have this. All right, so I'm going to put it up higher. So let's go... Uh, maybe we need to go like really far up. I just wonder if maybe it, maybe it doesn't have enough uh, thrusters on it now. All right, so here we go. And it's launching... Oh, you know what? It, oh my, it gets caught on the launcher now. Um, no, that's fine. Oh, I'm sure I've got another missile up my sleeve. So when in doubt, just bring a bigger missile. All right, so I think we can hit it. Let's go ahead and go into alt mode. Uh, oh, this one's gonna go straight up. Okay, now this is fine. I don't know where this is actually gonna land. Uh, oh, okay, it goes back. Oh wait, no, I, ha I can manipulate this. Okay, we got this. Uh, we just got to steer. Does it have a camera? Is this the camera? Um, oh, here we go. All 
right, so yeah, now we just get to choose our target. Oh my goodness, I don't think, wait, I can maybe still hit the tower. Oh, and if I could hit this tower, that'd be expert mode. All right, hold on, aim up. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, never trust me to steer missiles. Oh no, oh. Well, it still works. Um, Wait, did it just disappear? I feel like we might have broken something. Oh. Yeah, the creation just disappeared from existence. Oh, and I got a fatal error. Okay, so something I used to always try to attempt in old episodes was to jump the city, and I feel like now that we have new satisfying crash physics, uh, that failure is gonna be awesome too. So another thing is we have a god-moded stunt ramp that has been pinned. So it shouldn't move. That was always my biggest gripe when trying to do these stunts is that it would crash. And here we go with the run up and oh my goodness. Okay, it just completely blew apart. So the GTR did not hold up well. That was awesome looking, but it did not hold up well at all. Uh oh, <laughs> I wanna be able to jump the city, but uh, the impact of the ramp might actually be blowing it apart. When in doubt, start further back. Okay, this is fine. All right, get some more speed here. Uh, coming around and oh come on buddy Ooh. <laughs> oh no okay the whoa <laughs> the whole engine fell out um so GTR is not it chief uh, let's just go ahead and put this on the train tracks real quick lovely car by the way that's one of the best models I've seen in Brook Bricks and oh, there she goes that was actually kind of cool looking. Oh, there it goes. It finally blew it apart. Oh my. Okay, so we're gonna try this with another car. Don't ask me why this, wait, why does this Dodge Charger, how am I driving from the passenger seat? Um, is that a new feature that I, I didn't, wasn't aware of? Okay. Well, I wanted to try something else. This does not sound like the, it says it's a Hellcat, but it doesn't sound like a Hellcat motor. Plus I'm driving uh, from the passenger seat. I'm not sure where we got this from. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, I think it's actually time. Oh, well that was an awkward slide out of the uh, the car there. No, I think it's time we find a little smoother ramp. I actually think we need a, a little more gradual transition now that the, the actual ramp doesn't move. So let me try finding something here. Folks, we're about to go where no Bob has gone before. This actually is a really, really smooth looking ramp. A very gradual transition. It looks like it's actually blended in with the road. This is perfect. I almost want to try the GTR again. All right, here we go in the GTR. Can we do this without blowing ourselves up? I'm hoping uh, this is a thing. Let's check the ramp. Oh my goodness, that is so much better. I think we found the perfect ramp. Now, the release. It is pretty vertical. Oh, oh! That was, okay, that was actually really nice. I like how it just smashed the back end in. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's try this Supra here. Uh, I think we might have to go with a rocket-powered vehicle. The only thing I don't like about the ramp, like I said, it is a pretty much a vertical like point straight up. Uh, so it's sending the vehicles. Oh, that one bottomed out a little bit. That one didn't look as bad. That one didn't go as straight up. Uh, the Supra was good. Oh! Not as fast as the GTR, though. Yes, Komodo's playing with a Mustang here. Uh, we got a 2024 uh, Ford Mustang. Let's go ahead and give this one a jump here. Uh, this one's got some decent speed, actually. And, oh, the... Yep. You know those things Komodo said bad about the Mustang? Hold on. Do we have a vehicle that is actually capable of jumping the city now? Hmm, okay, if I were to do this, you know, I really wish it was a road. I want to jump the skyscrapers. Um, hold on. I'm going to set back here. I need more run up here. We need to try to get to a higher top speed. But I don't know. It's just so much easier. It seems like to jump the city now. I remember I had episodes dedicated to this. All right, here we go. And oh, my goodness. Okay, good distance. We're going to clear the others. We're about a block short right now. And, oh, right to the side of a building. Hmm, okay. Well, the Mustang did good, uh, I have to admit. Now, also to be fair, we're launching before the train bridge. Like, we used to launch right here and jump the city. I mean, that's, man, that's impressive, actually. So for sure, if I move the ramp here, which it's pinned itself, we can clear it in the Mustang. 
Okay, I changed the uh, the color. I get that the uh, the Mustang, I guess it was debuted in that one color. Not my favorite color, so I changed it to red. And I moved the ramp here to the original spot where we used to do it in the episodes. So this, oh, it's, an, it's definitely enough. You clear, I'm surprised you clear skyscrapers with this. That is probably the most impressive thing a Ford Mustang has ever done. We almost made it to the railroad tracks. Okay. So, do we want to do this in expert mode? What if I put a return ramp? Because I feel like we're coming down at a similar angle. Can we prevent Bob from dying is the question. Okay, I officially have a return ramp. I think this is doable. Okay, so we used a Hellcat as a marker for where I've uh, started here. That way I can figure out how much speed or where our starting point needs to be in order to actually hit that return ramp. Here we go. Yes, there's the return ramp. Oh my goodness, this looks close. Oh, I think I'm gonna over jump it here. All right, so we need to shorten up the approach. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was painful. Okay, the Hellcat marker's there. All right, here we go once again. All right, so let's see what this thing's got. I'm hoping that we've got this measured right and we're gonna hit that return ramp, perfect. All right, it's looking good. Uh, are we going to be short? Oh, this is close. Oh, I did not mean to slam the brakes there, but that almost helped. No, we're still... Wow, we're still over jumping it. It's amazing. It's almost like the, the vehicle itself has some form of aerodynamics now because, like, I feel floaty. All right, so that's a couple car lengths ahead. Let's give this one more go here. All right, we've released once again. Uh, oh, oh, we went off to the side a little bit. Come on. Okay, just let off. Oh, it's almost there. Look at that. We, wait, we kind of landed. All right, we blew the front bumper off. Oh, Bob, I think just ended up in the back seat. <laughs> Dude, we're so close to actually making a perfect jump across the city. All right, here we go. Can we do this with minimal damage to the Mustang? And let off. All right, starting to rotate. Oh my goodness. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> okay. I don't think you're not gonna like not blow off the front bumper, but it still drives. We cleared all the way across. I wanna watch that one more time in slow-mo from the sky. Oh my goodness, that is what the jump looks like. That is one of the most glorious things I've ever seen over Brooksville. I mean, and we've nuked this place several times and that's normally awesome, but hold on. Watch the return. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Might have started it a little uh, a little further up this time. Oh, and yo, in slow-mo, it seems like the destruction's kind of minimized there, but we proved that we can finally jump the city and basically land it. So another huge one that we used to try to do was the loop, and this was before pinning was a thing, so the loop would always move around. So we got it in, oh, God mode, and can we actually make this now with ease? Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh, maybe do this from the first person. It feels like a beam episode. All right, first person. All right, so we need to pay attention to where we're going here. Uh, oh my goodness, okay, this is fine. Yeah, I think maybe you can actually start on the platform and look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My goodness, uh, I don't know what's changed here, but uh, it just feels like everything feels like so much better in this game. All right. So I told you guys we're gonna go test out some water creations. Let's go do that now. All right, so we do have this gigantic cargo ship. Um, probably, well, actually it looks like it's for sure made of a lot of scalables, but what if we were to do a collision between the two? So I've got a, I think it's called a Magmalodon. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. So I have a big Megalodon that uh, apparently is, uh, oh my goodness, it's volcanic. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to run one of these into like a ship just to see what would happen. Uh, I'm assuming the mouth opens up on this. Oh my goodness, that thing is fast! Uh, I wanted to try to go into the side of this cargo vessel, but then I realized that the cargo vessel is actually ginormous and we might need to blow it up a different way. Uh, but this thing is certainly frightening. You know, just out of curiosity, can we actually break through the side of this thing? Uh, like, how does this work with the collisions? Alright, open the mouth and... Uh! Oh my goodness, its head just blew. Wait, did we make a... No, we didn't even make a ding. Uh, the Megalodon's head blew off. Probably would need to do this in, like, god mode to see how destructive it is. So, in order to test the, the 
physics here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the biggest bloop ever. Uh, yeah, I wanted to swallow up the cargo ship. Um, and I have an aircraft carrier. <laughs> I think we could swallow. Oh my goodness. I think this might actually work. Uh, okay. So we just want to make this thing fly here. Uh, or, or drive. I feel like are we we might be in too shallow water. Oh, never mind. Nope, it's working. Oh my goodness, this might be the most ridiculous looking thing in Brick Rigs. So we're able to actually fit the cargo ship in our mouth. Uh is this is this supposed to be a thing? Alright, uh we're just gonna start to swallow it here. Um there's a chance it's gonna What in the heck is happening right now? Uh oh. Uh I might should have done that one in God mode. Okay, so I need to figure out if there's a chomp button here. I feel like we could break this whole ship. Okay, here we go. I've spawned it back in. It's now uh, invincible. So we're going to see if we could actually eat this. I don't think it actually moves. Uh, I think you're just supposed to put everything into the mouth of the, of the bloop. Oh my goodness, we're pushing the ship. Not sure we're doing much. Oh, I think we actually finally are doing damage to it. What, what the heck? Oh, okay. So it just... Okay, uh, we just flung it. Oh, it might have just flung it. Oh, this isn't gonna work well with scalables. Uh, hold on. Okay, so our ship eater might be a little too big. The destruction's definitely different. What the heck did we just do to this? So, I think we just broke something. The cargo ship is now... Yeah, it's, it's on its side. <laughs> so, that's why the, uh, I think it's an experimental right now, because some stuff's getting ironed out. Uh, definitely seems like scalables uh, aren't favorited for the destruction. And that seems like what most of the ships are. So we might have to come back to this, maybe do like a, a battle or something to see how this would work. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. We'll see you guys next time.